What's your personality tendency? On today's Guru Tips for Actors, I'm going to share a breakdown of four and tell you why that might help you as an actor. Hey there, it's Asia Ray Coleman, founder of Acting Resource Guru, and I have been reading a book that I love from one of my favorite authors. Her name is Gretchen Rubin. This book is called The Four Tendencies, the indispensable personality profiles that reveal how to make your life better and other people's lives better too. So who doesn't want to make their lives better? I actually first read Gretchen Rubin when I read her book, The Happiness Project, years ago, and it really resonated with me. And this book is doing the same thing. I want to share it with you because I know as actors, we often have trouble getting things done or, you know, can improve our relationships in some way. And I believe as I'm reading this, that if you're aware of what your personal tendency is, it can really help you figure out how to navigate those things about your own personality. So let's dive in. The first thing you'll want to do is go to quiz.gretchenrubin.com and take her four tendencies quiz. That way you can find out what personality profile you are and it's, this will make a little bit more sense. But to give you a quick kind of summary, she has broken people down into categories based on how they respond to expectations. And there are two kinds of expectations. There are inner expectations. Those are the expectations that we have for ourselves, like keeping a new year's resolution, for example. And then there are outer expectations. Those are expectations that are set by other people. Like for example, maybe your kids expect you to make dinner for them every night, or your boss expects you to do your work or your acting teacher expects you to learn your lines right? So the four different categories of people respond to different expectations differently. So the first category is upholders. Those are people like me who respond to all kinds of expectations. <laughs> no matter where they're coming from, we readily respond to them. The second category is questioners. Questioners respond to inner expectations, but they kind of question everything and they want to make sure that everything is valid before they adhere to it. So they don't respond to outer expectations until they can kind of assimilate them and make them their own expectations as well. Then there are obligers and most of the people in the world are obligers. Obligers respond readily to outer expectations, but have trouble responding to their own inner expectations. So an obliger may need someone like an accountability partner or a coach to help move them along. And the fourth category is rebels. Rebels don't like expectations. They don't respond to anything. <laughs> basically. And the fewest number of people on earth are rebels. So, which is interesting as I work with my pro members and my VIP coaching clients, I have to be aware that not everyone is an upholder. Like I am not everyone is going to just get up early and go to the gym and come back and learn a new language and whatever. Like that's just not for everybody. And I totally get that. And this book has been so instrumental in helping me understand my clients and what will help them. And I think it will help you too. So I recommend you check it out. Go to actingresourceguru.com slash four tendencies, and you can grab an Amazon link for the book. Gretchen gives a great example in the book, new year's resolutions, right? How good are you at keeping new year's resolutions? So upholders tend to be really good at keeping them. It's totally fine. Questioners question why we make resolutions on January 1st and they just make resolutions at some point throughout the year. <laughs> Obligers often give up making resolutions altogether because they've struggled to keep them in the past and rebels are like resolutions. What do we need resolutions for? So it's just kind of interesting. And I'm sure as you're watching this, you have a clue as to what your tendency is, but I would love to hear from you. So please comment and let me know what your tendency is and whether you were surprised that you got that tendency when you took the quiz. And I hope that helps. I am going to go do some upholder things right now. And I will see you next week on the next episode of Guru Tips for Actors. Bye-bye. I have to be aware that not everyone is a... a, a now, before I wrap up, I want, um, mm, 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 mm. and rebels hate red blue. <laughs> Obliger. <laughs> so funny. This week in, in, I'm going to go do some, so I'm going to go do some, oh, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> and I hope that helps. I am going to go do some, oh,